fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. On the last episode, we had a little quick talk with Maggie that we confided in her that we did lose our memory, but she helped us get a couple of information back about the phone that we had. Apparently belonged uh, to someone, but they never showed up. Then we had an old friend return, for so we don't really know who they are because we lost our memory, but it's Maya. <laughs> So we headed back into the court and met up with the witness that the prosecution had, named Richard Wellington, a 22-year-old unemployed student who, despite saying saw the victim, has terrible eyesight, uh, also lost his phone, uh, took 15 minutes to call despite there being a phone booth right next to the murder scene, and uh, apparently his eyeglasses were underneath the victim. So now he's trying to explain why, why, uh, why the person wrote Maggie, despite the fact that it's spelled wrong and with the wrong hand. So, was there any way that he could have known Maggie's name beforehand? And there was no way, there was a way. Typically, whenever you get these answers, you want to go with the op the obvious one that'll send it forward, but for this one, you still want to. <laughs> I know there were some in, I think, case 1-5 where it's like, no, don't ask any more questions. But this is one where we, it's pretty obvious, there was a way. It would be best if I could prove the witness had a chance to learn that the defendant's name was Maggie. Now, will the defense please present its case? How could the witness have known the defendant's name? Uh, and this is all based... Uh, once again, if you need to... If you need to remember, and for Phoenix Wright, that you get all your hints... I mean, basically through talking, but even the most small things that are told to you can be a hint. Like when he mentioned glasses and they weren't, and he wasn't wearing glasses, or the time when Maggie mentioned that she said her phone, her name over the phone. Mr. Wellington, you didn't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't? When you realized you had lost it, what did you do? What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Well, why you? How did you? Your Honor, these questions have nothing to do with... Overruled. Mr. Wright, where are you going with this line of questioning? Do you think there is something in relation between the witness's cell phone and the murder? I do, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up a lost phone in the park. And... She also received a phone call from the owner of the phone. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can get this back. I have, I'm not, I'm, I'm doing this over because I don't know if I can time it correctly. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. Ta-da! That was when you learned that her name was Maggie. Oh, uh, um... Uh. But you made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake? My client's name is Maggie, but the name that was written on the ground was Maggie. This is a mistake that it could only occur yet if all you knew was how her name sounded. Order! But, but, Your Honor! The witness has no motive! And your point is? It's very simple, Your Honor. A person usually would not kill someone without a reason. Mr. Wellington had no reason to kill anyone! That is absolutely correct! I don't have a motive! Hmm. Mr. Wright! Your Honor? Can you explain what motive this witness could have had? It's very simple, Your Honor. Are you sure, Nick? If I said I can't offer an explanation, then the trial's over, right? Y yeah, but... <laughs> so, Nick Nick falls into our category. Obviously, if it's going to end, <laughs> it's, it's not over yet. All right, so... There is something that he might not have wanted people to find out about. 
Probably this list of names that were on the phone number of bad people. Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. What is this? The list. These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the phone the defendant found. And we have determined that the people on this list are members of a certain group. You... you looked up all those numbers? Of course. This list of phone numbers was stored in the cell phone's memory. The names and numbers belong to people who are members of a certain con artist group. But, 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 what? Con artists? Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Wellington? This is, this is an outrage, an invasion of privacy. Looking up the phone numbers on a person's phone is a worse crime than murder. Uh, someone died in murder. Yeah, what the, oh boy. <laughs> Okay, okay. I don't care, Mr. Wellington. All I want is for you to tell us what this list is about. You think you, any of you, know what it's like to be a refined man such as me? You're 22. <laughs> Your Honor, th this is this is a justified badgering of the witness. Objection overruled. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Why would the witness have the numbers on a group of con artists on his phone? Isn't that obvious? The witness is looking into the group, a victim of that group, a member of that group. Well, these two could make sense, but they wouldn't help us, so this is the one that makes sense. Mr. Wellington is a member of this very group. No! All of your friends' phone numbers are stored right here on this phone. If anyone were to look into these phone numbers, it would be all over for you. That is why you had to kill. No. This is all! This is too much! He didn't say all. <laughs> I don't know why he thought he said all. Hmm. That does make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington, would you care to explain? Ah, uh, ah. I got you now. No, nope. you don't got them until they have their final freakout. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, hold on, never mind. <laughs> the police officer. Attention! Your Honor. What is it, Mr. Payne? Your Honor, th this is this is a justified badgering of the witness. You said the exact same thing only a few seconds ago. P -p -p Please. Please, let's think about the content of that phone call. Uh, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. The defendant had already promised that she would return the phone. After that, all Mr. Wellington had to do was meet Miss Bird to get his phone back. Why then would he need to kill anyone? Hmm. That is a valid point. What does the defendant think about this? Hmm. If you think about it logically, then it makes sense. Then maybe we should be thinking outside the box. Yeah, if we think like that. Let's see. Maybe that slime ball saw something at the crime scene that made him commit murder. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Hmm. Well. I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up his phone in a friendly, friendly manner. But he was promised his phone! So why would he have been unfriendly to the defendant? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. Well, then Mr. Wright? Oh, we can get two strikes for this. What was this something that didn't agree with the witness? So he saw something that really turned on his I don't trust these people vibe. Which means it had to be something he saw. He saw the phone. He saw the bananas. <laughs> he saw Maggie. And he also saw Dustin, who... Let me be clear. They're both police officers. But Dustin was wearing his uniform. 
when Mr. Wellington saw was the victim. The, the, the victim? You mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had gone on his date right after his shift was over. With no time to change, he went to the park still wearing his police uniform. Oh! Once again, clues anywhere, including flashbacks. That girl's picked up my phone. The, the girl that picked up my phone is with the policeman. He couldn't have known they were going out, so he began to worry. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. If, if I do anything suspicious, he might run a check on my phone. In his mind, it was possible they had already run a check on the phone. And he went into a panic, is what you're saying. Exactly. Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. What a terrible way to die. Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I... Uh, I'm thinking. Hmm. It seems the truth has come out at last. The witness. Mr. Wellington, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive! Not bad for a person with a third-rate education. That, you know, normal people don't usually do this. But whatever. It's the Phoenix Wright universe. Normal people do this all the time, apparently. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the evidence! The evidence! Uh, that guy is really creeping me out. All you've been waving around and talking about is that suspicious cell phone. Suspicious phone number this. Suspicious con group that. They're all on that phone. But who's to say that phone is really mine? Where's your proof? Your evidence. You want proof that this phone is yours? <laughs> I already told you earlier. That phone I lost, I've already found it. You don't have even the slightest idea who the phone in your hand belongs to. But you're gonna be sure it isn't mine, you simpleton. What? <laughs> it feels good to see you squirm. Hmm. We do seem to have a problem on our hands with this phone. Whose phone is it? Without knowing that, it's meaningless as evidence. I I Your Honor! This is bad. I can't let him turn the tables on me like this. Hmm. Cell phone. There has to be something I've overlooked. There's gotta be... Hmm... Maybe... The phone's stored numbers? Fingerprints on the phone. Technically, both of these would work. But I think fingerprints on the phone would work better. If his fingerprints are on it... Well, I mean, my fingerprints are on it. He hasn't touched his phone, so if, if his fingerprints are on it, then, uh, yeah, it should work. I got it! We should check for fingerprints. Fingerprints? Good night, everybody. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wellington must have left some prints on this phone. Nick, don't you remember? When you got that from Maggie, you wiped it off. Uh, I what? You said there was sand all over it, so... Wiped it? I wiped it? Pretty thoroughly, too. <laughs> It's so, so much fun watching third-rate trash double like morons among themselves. Uh, he's made a complete recovery. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here. You see? Oh, and incidentally, you can't check the numbers stored on this phone. It must have glitched because all the numbers just magically disappeared. You've got to be joking. He erased all the numbers I was going to use as evidence. Mr. Wellington. What's this? By the tone of your voice, it sounds like you still have some fight left in you. Where did you finally find your cell phone? <laughs> oh, 
Well, you are too much! And of course, you have no idea what I'm talking about! Oh my god. Now I remember! <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, looks like they hung up. Ah, oh, good. Oh, I, did I give him a totally different voice in the first episode? Whatever. So that's when. What's wrong, Mr. Attorney? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Nick, we worked so hard to get this far, but if you don't do something quick, he's going to get off scot-free! I know. I know this phone has to be his. But how am I supposed to prove something like that? Mr. Wright, if you cannot prove who the owner of that cell phone is, your indictment has no basis, and therefore, no power. It looks like you came up a penny short. Where? Where did I go wrong? Don't blame yourself. You're merely a third-rate lawyer. You only made one big mistake. Who are you? What are you? That's something you haven't figured out for yourself yet. He's three years older than you. Who I am? The court hereby concludes the cross-examination. <laughs> if that will be all, I'll have to bid you gentlemen and ladies goodbye. I have a reservation at that ultra-fancy restaurant on the upper side of town. Thank you for your assistance. You've had a stressful day, so please, bon appetite. <laughs> I, I feel like that wasn't a spelling error, and it was just him actually not knowing what the correct word was. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just let it go at that? Wait and see. Well, if I pick that, it's over. <laughs> so, yes. Hold it. Please wait, Your Honor. All right, Nick. I think I may be able to prove it. Prove it? Prove what, Mr. Wright? Everything. Your Honor, the cross-examination has already ended, ended! Besides, the defendant is just going to badger the witness with more inane questions. You will not harass the witness. Is this clear, Mr. Wright? Did you hear that? No harassment allowed, Mr. Attorney. Please, Your Honor. Very well. But this is your last chance, Mr. Wright. You had a lot of last chances, Phoenix. You may present one piece of evidence to the court. I only get one shot at this. If you cannot prove everything, it's over. For your client, and for you. Do you fully understand? I don't know what it means by for you, but... oh. I'm sure you're well aware, Your Honor, but the cross examination period has ended! Were you paying attention, Mr. Payne? I said that Mr. Wright could present only one more piece of evidence. Oh. Now then, Mr. Wright, this is your last chance. It all comes down to this. It's go time! Please present the one piece of evidence that will explain everything. That won't. <laughs> if you show that, you don't deserve it. Uh, the cell phone... There's nothing other we could really prove with, by showing the other phone. Uh, the autopsy report's pointless. The glasses are pointless. Both photos are pointless. The bananas are pointless. Which leaves only two things. The list, which we, won't really help us because he said they were deleted. And our card, because there is no such thing as a red herring clue in Phoenix Wright, as far as I'm aware. So this has to have a purpose. And he wrote his cell phone number on the back. Why, thank you! How nice! Here, please have one of mine. <laughs> the judge's business card. It's, fan it's written in fancy script. The ink is strong and clear, but I still can't read it. Wait, what am I doing? This isn't the time to be exchanging business cards. 
Your Honor. Also, a very good, a very good detail is that if you usually get something right, that bar will disappear at the top right. But because it's still here, it's supposed to psych you out. But it was completely correct. There is something very important about that card. And that is also another thing of, oh, because we're still in the middle of it. Uh, the name of the card, the back of the card. But the name, the, the name, there's nothing new on that information. The back of the card is where all the information is. Also, if you hear the music stop, you're usually correct too. The card is important because of what is on the back. Hmm? You wrote your cell phone number on the back, but... But that's exactly it. Can you please call this number from your cell phone? Huh? Right now? The court is still in session. It's okay. You'll see. Okay, if you say so. Is the defense preparing something, Mr. Wright? You're going to call my cell phone now. And then the court will see everything for what it is. Now, of all the idiotic, stupid things to... What? Why is my phone? What is with this stupid sounding ringtone? Oh, that, you don't diss that ringtone. That's a Seal Samurai, sir. Mr. Wellington. Hmm. How strange. I can almost swear that you're holding my phone. You're... Ah! No, 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 no. I can't. By the way, before I forget, thank you very much for the lump of my head this morning. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain any further, except to say... When you went to retrieve your cell phone, you mistakenly took the wrong one. <laughs> ah! I'm not- I'm not screaming the whole thing. <laughs> no way. Like I said, it's not over until you get the final freak out. So that is what happened. You were knocked out by Mr. Wellington. He is a man who lives on his pride and self-image alone. And in order to hide his involvement with the con artist group, he had become paranoid and lost all ability to make rational judgments. Hmm. Then, then, Mr. Wright, the phone you're holding. is Mr. Wellington's, naturally. Speaking of that man, how was he, Mr. Payne? Ah, he, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Now then, this court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. That is all. This court is adjourned. shine through eventually I am so moved by what you've done for me sir thank you so much Mr. Wright I feel really bad for Dustin he didn't do anything to deserve this it's probably because of me huh my whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures your whole life can't be that bad can it I was six months old when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building. Oh, boy. <laughs> I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods, failed at almost every test I've ever taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster. How have you successfully gone through college and high school if you fail every test? And never won or even tied at a game of tic-tac-toe. My life has really been nothing but a string of disasters. That is... Uh, pretty bad. Up until I went to college, I was known as the goddess of misfortune. I, I, I stumbled over my tongue there. <laughs> and then at the academy, everyone called me Lady Luckless. 
Lady Luckless? What's worse is that my misfortune always seems to latch onto those around me. <laughs> like Phoenix when he got clubbed over the head. What do you mean? When I see someone in trouble, I always try to help. Ah, that's right. You were talking about this earlier. It happened again recently, too, sir. There was an old lady pacing back and forth by the pedestrian crosswalk. I gave her my hand, and before I knew it, we were having dinner at my house. <laughs> oh. I'm sure that Dustin's gone because of me. That's not true! That glove didn't even have any sort of special meaning. It was just a present to say thanks for covering one of my night shifts. Oh, I see. Everything is all my fault! Dustin's death, your head being all messed up. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think my head is what mess is that messed up yet. I'm going to find a new light for myself starting now. The next time we meet, I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I've found a whole ocean's worth of good luck by then, sir. Yeah, after all, the goddess of misfortune is only a name. You bet! I'm gonna make it, I promise. Next time we meet, I'll only be an unlucky person instead of a goddess. Yeah! That's a spirit! <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, Maya, I should get going. Okay, good luck to you. Thanks. You take care of yourselves, too. <sighs> what a horrible day. I've gotten my memory back, but things are still a little fuzzy. But you're okay, and that's what counts. You really had me worried. Come on, let's go back to the office. Mm, I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. So, this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? What? I thought you said you got your memory back! At that moment, everything really did come back to me. Detective Gumshoe? He's someone I've had clashes with in the past during certain cases. But he's also been a good ally during others. The judge. He's a lovable, kind old man who's easily swayed by other people's opinions. But in the end, he always comes up with the right verdict. This person. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> oh, poor Payne. He seemed to know me, but maybe he's mistaking me for someone else. Ah, oh, come on, Phoenix. He was your first ever lawyer. You wouldn't recognize that person. And this girl, Maya? You, you finally remembered. This is Maya Fay, my assistant. That's right. I have so many unforgettable memories about her. For example... Earth and Nick! What's wrong? You keep staring at me. Don't tell me you've missed me. Uh, well, yeah, I suppose I have. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Oh? Well, I'm back now. So it's time for us great new memories together. All right. Sounds good. All the phone numbers on my phone are erased by Mr. Wellington. I guess I have to start over from the very beginning. Come on, Nick! Let's go to our usual burger joint. Yeah, <laughs> burgers. Okay, okay. Actually, it hasn't even been that long since he came back into my life. And that story... That story began on one rainy afternoon. Two months ago. And the last turnabout is over. That took us three episodes. Not bad. I mean, the first the, the first story took us one episode last time. And we got our bleep bloop. Hooray. A brand new episode was added. Who that? I don't know. I hope it didn't just immediately kick us into it. Uh, yes. We're going to save right here. 
just because they keep it on. Okay, it is going to kick us straight to the next game. So, that's going to do it for this episode. We got our guy, Maggie's innocent, Wellington is guilty, and we got, even got a memory back, but all our phone numbers got erased, so that sucks. But, we're about to go back in time. We're going to go two months back in time to when we first regrouped with Maya, with Reunion and Turnabout, episode two, uh, or case two, two. So, that's, that's going to be it for this episode. On the next episode, we're going to start case two, two, and see what that is all about. So, and as you can see, part one investigation, we'll see what that means. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.